Good morning, students. How are you all today? I hope you all are feeling good. Your minds are fresh. Your tummies are full. No one is feeling sleepy or tired, right? Because it's early morning, so you might be sleeping tired. I hope you are not. No one? That's great. I want my class to be fresh, to be active in the morning. Isn't it so? Which day is this class? Yes, it's the fourth day of week 21st. It is 21st week and we are on the fourth day. And what will we have tomorrow on the fifth day? Yes, you will have your test of everything that we have done throughout this week. I am going to take a test like you always do. So are, are you preparing for that? That's good. Very good. Okay. Now, <clears throat> let's recall something. What was the topic that we did yesterday? Was it comprehension? No, it was related to grammar. Yes, we did the grammar part. And in that, we have done verbs, right? And I hope by now you must be very, very clear what are verbs. They are the doing words. They are the action words, right? Because verbs we are doing since the session started. Isn't it so? Now, today also, class, we are going to do something related to grammar. And what that something related to grammar actually is that we are going to learn about homophones. What are those? What are we going to learn? Homophones. Now, what are homophones? I'm going to tell you that in a minute. Now, first, I want you all to read some words which I have written on the board. Okay? Come on, let's do it. What, what, uh, what is this written over here? Eight. When what is eight meaning? To eat something. But it is written in past tense. You know, eat is present. Eight is past of eat. Correct. Now, two, you know, the meaning of two. For, this is for you, this is for something, right? Eight, E-I-G-H-T, it is number eight. Some, two, you know the meaning? Some means the sum of. You usually use in maths also. The sum of means the total of, right? And the last one is four. Four again is number four. Now, from these words, can you tell me the words that have the same sound? Like suppose the first one is eight. Now, what is the other word that sounds eight? Yes, eight, number eight. Eight and number eight, they have the same sound. Like eight and eight, E-I-G-H-T. They have the same sound. Two means P-O-2 and yes, number two, P-W-O-2. Okay, then four, four. Again, number four. You see? Four, four, they have the same sound. Two, two, they have the same sound. Eight, eight, they have the same sound. And then comes some, S-O-M-E, some, the sum. S-U-M, sum. Means the total. Now you have seen that these words, they have the same sound. So are their meanings are also the same? No, their meanings are different. Like suppose eight means to eat something and E-I-G-H-T eight means number eight. So their sounds are same, but their meanings are not same. Correct? Okay. Now two means this is uh, to you and so it's used in sentence. Whereas number two is a number two. Meanings are different. In the same way, four and four, again, numbers are, uh, the, the meanings are different, although they have the same sound. Some and some, they have the same sound, but their meanings are different. So the words that have the same sound, but their meanings are different and their spellings are also different, we call them homophones. What do you call them? Homophones. So what are actually homophones? Homophones are words that have 
the same sound, but their meanings are different and their spellings are also different. Do you understand? Yes, you understand, right? Okay, now I'll show you my pigeon on which I have written few words. Can you see my pigeon here? Isn't it a cute one? Isn't it a cute pigeon, right? Now on this pigeon, I have written few words. I would like you all to read them with me, okay? Now, the first one is buy. You buy, this buy means you are going to buy something, right? Brake means the brakes of the, of your car. Now, then comes blue. What is this blue? It's the color blue. Dear, dear means you use this word that you are very dear to me, you are very close to me, you are very, um, uh, I, you use it when you are telling something, someone something. Die means you are dead. Fair, fair is, uh, this fair means that the fair of uh, uh, the, what is the fair of this uh, airline? Means what is the price of this airline? Buy, you use it, it's a punctuation. This is by, uh, uh, you use this in the sentences, right? You are going by car, you are going by bus, you use it in sentences. Blue, it is the past of blow. When you blow something, right, you blow something. And I have blown this. So it is past tense. Break, now again, this break was the car breaks. And here, break means you break something. For, you know that, fair. Now, this fair here means that uh, there is a carnival, there is a fair, or there is a spring fair, means it's a big, uh, it's a kind of a occasion, a big gathering. Four, again, it's number four. Fair, again, that's the same. Deer is the animal deer. And you remember the other deer which I have told you? Die, that you dye your hair. And the before the other die was, you die, you are dead. Bored, that you are feeling very bored today. Then cell, what is the meaning of this cell? Means the cells, the battery that you use. Board, it could be any kind of a board. It could be white board, it could be a black board, any board, right? Now cell. Now here, this cell, S-E-L-L -L, means you are selling something. Two. Do you know the meaning of two? B. This B means the insect B. Two again, it's number two. And this B means it's again, it's a use in sentences. It's different from B. Now, out of these words, now can you find the words that have the similar sound, yet their meanings are different? Can you find that? And their spellings are also different. Okay, now let's do this. All right, let's write down the words that have the same sounds, but their meanings are different. By, the first one is by, B-U-Y. What is the meaning that have, uh, the word which have the same sound? B-Y, by, correct. Break. B R A K E. Now this break means your car breaks, yeah. And the other break is B R E A K. Again, their sounds are uh, the same, but their meanings are different. Their spellings are different. Next comes blue. What is the same sound? Blue. You blew something. Okay. Deer with the animal deer. Again, their meanings are uh, different, their spellings are different, but their sounds are the same. Okay. Die, that you are dead and die. You die something, you color something, right? Okay. Fair. This I've already explained you fair is the, what is the, tick, um, the price of this and fair, F-A-I-R again, 
F A R E. It's a book fair. It's a uh, any other fair. Okay, buy, B Y buy, and it B U Y buy. Where is that? B U Y buy. Okay. Now there it comes. Oh, we have already written buy here. Okay. All right. Now next is fair four. F O U R four and four. Okay. Then there we have done board, board and board. Then two and number two. B the insect and B. Sell and sell. So we have seen how the words they have the same sound, but their meanings are different, their spellings are different, right? Now let's have uh, sentences, few sentences of these words. We will make as a whole class. Okay, can you all see my board class? Yes, that's great. Okay, the first sentence. Is of break. Okay. Please. No. My car breaks are very strong, right? This was of break, the car breaks, right? Then other word is break, B-R-E-A-K, break. Please don't break this glass. Please don't break this glass. It's a question. No, it's an exclamation. All right, then comes uh, the next word is you can say blue. B L U E. I like this blue color. I like this blue color. And the next one is blue. My sister balloon. My sister blew her balloon yesterday, or I blew my balloon, right? Next is bored. I am feeling, I am feeling too bored today. Isn't it so? Are you feeling bored? No? Great. Okay, then the other word is bored. My teacher Right on the white board. Right? So you have seen these sentences, how they are written. Uh, the sounds are the same, but the meanings are different. Their spellings are different. So the, the sentences would also be dif uh, written differently. Okay. There we go. Oh, sorry. All right, so that means that uh, what we have done today is we have learned about homophones and I hope it's clear up till now, right? Now, let's move on to the class task. Now, what you are going to do, 
Now, see, they have also written, uh, the, given the example of homophones. If you go on page 92 of your Nelson English, here you will find that they have described homophones. Now, homophones are words that sounds the same but are spelled differently and have different meanings. Now, Posey searched online for recycling ideas. She found four. She found four. Now, four, she searched for recycling ideas and she found four of them, right? So, now what you are going to do, you are going to do part A and part B uh, right now in the class. Now, you have to match these words with its homophones in the word given below, the first one. The second one, you have to write your own homophones for the words which they have given. Now, you have to copy down the question, both the questions in the notebook and do it in the notebook very nicely, very neatly. I'm going to give you 12 minutes for this task. And your time starts now. All right, time is up. I hope you have done the work. Yes, now let's check it out. The first one, hole. It matches with the other hole, H-O-L-E, correct. Number two, buy, you know what is it? B-U-Y, buy. -Y. Not, it is no knot and not when you tie a knot, A-N-O-T, correct. Saw, sore, correct. There, T-H-E-I-R, there means related to some people, some persons. And T-H-E-R-E, -E, there means it's a place. It is relating to any place. Two, again, you know, T-W-O. Some, again, we have done. Eight, we have done. Okay. Now, what you have written for the second part, that is number one, B. The B-W-B. New. Correct. New. N-E-W. Right. That is correct. And write, W-R-I-T-E means to write something. Right. Okay. <coughs> where, W-E-A-R, where, you are wearing something. And W-H-E-R-E, where are you going? Okay. Male, M-A-I-L, male, means the male that comes to you uh, uh, on your, <coughs> this thing, uh, inbox or something like that. And what, which is the other male? What's the spelling? M-A-L-E, male means any other, the male, a man. We call a man a male person, M-A-L-E, male. So that's for today, class. I hope you must have enjoyed and you must have learned something new, right? Now, what is tomorrow? It's your test. So don't forget to revise everything that we have done throughout this week. It's not only today, but yesterday, day before yesterday, Whatever we have done, please keep on revising. Please revise it thoroughly, very nicely, so that you can easily do your class test, which I'm going to take today. All right, so have a nice day. Bye-bye.